Hey guys, washing my bed linens in the background there. That's something I try and stay on top of. Bed sheets, comforters, pillowcases, all of that stuff. First of all, you shed skin cells into your bed linens. I know this is gross, but it can end up harboring dust mites. They feed off of that. I try and wash all my bed linens weekly. I also take the vacuum cleaner to my headboard. You would be surprised at how much dust that can hold on to. I mean, I don't actually see it because it's sucked up in the vacuum cleaner. I would love a tool that would like deep clean my headboard, like that little Bissell steam cleaner thing. I wonder if you can use that on a headboard. I need to investigate this. I have a fabric covered headboard. Anyway, that's a whole lot of chit chat for this early. I'm gonna wash my face. So I just finished this off, really liked it. But for the sake of not wasting products, I'm gonna go ahead with the Polish Choice Repairing Serum. I reviewed this for you all this week. It has Q10, it's kind of more or less the same thing. Uh, Beta-glucan, and I'm just gonna do the same volume that I was doing with the Timeless one. Three pumps to my face and neck. It doesn't have that vibrant yellow color like the Timeless one did, it's more white. It has me wondering how much UV quinone is actually in this. It is nice and hydrating. But man, some of the products in this line were such a disappointment. Sunscreen, I'm coming in with the Beauty of Joseon. Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics. This is a really nice sunscreen for winter time. Get excited because you guys have a new pair of legs. Uh, I got this tripod because it's bendy. So I thought it would be handy to put you guys on. There you go. Here, let's put your little ring light on. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Let's tighten. I feel like I feel like we're getting ready for school, kids. Does everybody have does everybody have their lunch? Did you get your math homework? There. All right, cool, we're ready to go. Gotta make sure the coffee viewing experience is up to snuff. Man, the weather lately, uh, it has just not been showing up, you know, and it's coming empty handed. It's coming empty handed with this drizzly, dreary coldness. That was not supposed to happen, there we go. Okay, so recently I shared with you guys how this year I really come to love these paperage notebooks. Like the quality of the paper is so good and they're pretty inexpensive. They all come with a little pocket in the back and a little band to keep everything closed. And then they also have a ribbon bookmark. But I am in the market for a planner for 2023 and I saw they make planners. So I went ahead and got this one. It has that good quality paper again. Starts out with the 2023, 2024 monthly overview. And then I thought this was really clever. I thought this section was really cool because it's an overview of the whole year, each month and the days, and then the days of the week. So for example, if you wanna know what day of the week your birthday falls on this year, you can just quickly reference here. I thought it was really cool. And then you can pencil in key you know, key dates, um, events, etc. Then one thing that's a little different from other planners that I've used in the past is that it has all of the monthly views in one section. So here we have, for example, January. This is what the monthly overview looks like. And then you have a column here to jot down things and you can see everything. Decent amount of space. I don't, I honestly don't use these monthly calendars at a glance that much. I rely more on the weeks, the week at a glance. This is what I really like about this particular planner is that once you get to the section that's the week, weekly overview, you have the week here on one side and then you have this dot grid paper here to do your own thing. You do bullet journaling, 
great. It's like a hybrid between a regular planner and a bullet journal. I love it. You get that for every week. Dot grid, this. I thought that was a really cool layout. And this I really like too. I've never, I haven't seen this in other planners. It obviously shows, it shows you a little overview of the whole month here, but it boxes in what week we're in. I just thought that was really clever. Kind of gives you a visual <laughs> how many more weeks you have left in the month as you go along. It tells you what week of the year it is. I mean, there's a, there are a lot of little details here. So after the week at a glance, then you have basically a whole section of just dot grid paper. So you can make lists. You can really pack a lot of information in this. No wasted space. Then at the end of the book, you get the pocket. And I love that the opening of the pocket, it faces the interior so that stuff doesn't fall out. And it comes with these labels like the notebooks do. So I'm pretty happy with this because the quality of the paper is the main thing that I care about. And then I also care about the practicality of the layout. I don't really get into different like planning, preset planning pages. I don't end up using that kind of thing. The only thing, the corner did come with a little ding there. That doesn't bother me. This desk pad, by the way, came in a FabFit fun box. I really like it because it's like a giant mouse pad slash coaster for my coffees. Well, hey guys, I decided to fix my hair and recently I started using this Revlon volumizing tool and I really like it. It's like a combination between a hairdryer and like a round brush. And for the longest time, I've been using a round brush and my hairdryer to kind of style my hair. This makes it go a lot faster and it also helps get a little bit of like curl in the hair a bit, but it's a lot easier to use. Like it's easier to just navigate without having like the brush and the hair dryer and all of that. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So last night before I went to bed, I did put a little bit of a heat protectant on um, my hair while it was still a bit damp. So I have that on there, but you can do cool, low, medium, and high. I'm just gonna do low, but I'm just gonna brush my hair. Now that my hair is shorter, I've sort of had to get a little more involved <laughs> with the styling because it's thick, so it just ends up being a bit of a weird owl look. I put it, I section it in these little mini buns on the top so that it gets it out of the way. And I just use these claw clamps for that. I do one little bun on the top and then I do sort of a medium bun. So I just take, I hold it a little bit there and then just go it doesn't blow the hair all over the place either. I have not tried actually drying my hair with it though. I think, you know, I, you, it's intended for that, but my hair, I just prefer to air dry. You know, I get the majority of the water out with the microfiber towel. And then by the time I go to bed, it's pretty much dry. I would imagine though, if you have really thick hair and you wanted to use this to dry your hair, you probably would need to use a regular blow dryer first.
mean, it's not perfect, but. because I have never been able to navigate a curling wand. Those things, my hair, it always, like the, especially those that have the, the clamp, I can't get it to where it doesn't crimp my ends and it always looks weird. So I can't, I can't navigate a curling, curling wand. But this is easy enough, I can do it. If I can do it, then it may be a game changer for somebody else. So I've been really happy with this. And it's not super hot either, at least on the low setting. And there's also a cool setting too. Which maybe I'll I'm here at the mall with my Christmas earrings. I was gonna take you guys to look at this holiday light display and I got tickets for it, but because of the rain, it was canceled. So we're gonna go in the mall and hope for the next best thing.
pickle and cream is really nice with sweet cinnamon pumpkin like. Ooh, that is good. This is cider. Mm, that has like a cinnamon and coconut smell. Frosted cranberry is kind of a generic berry scent. I love this candle holder. It has a little mouse <laughs> in the clock. It's really sturdy too. I picked it up. It's very heavy. That's nice for the plug-in. Oh, this one's really nice for the plug-in. I would just plug that in. I don't think I'd even put the scent in. Sunjong 10 Free Moist Emulsion on and I'm going to come in with the Polish Choice BHA Sensitive Skin Exfoliant. I reviewed this for you guys. This is one of the products from the Calm line that I actually like. I'm not going to put on my Tretinoin tonight because I don't want the irritation, but I think I'm going to start maybe using this in the morning. I don't know. Uh, I want to use it up and I actually do like it. But speaking of salicylic acid, if you have a wart on your face, whatever you do, don't shave over it because uh, warts, when you do that, you can introduce the little wart virus into the neighboring skin. You see, in otherwise healthy people who don't have any like underlying problems with their immune system, warts, they'll spontaneously clear up on their own, albeit it takes some time. But if you have like eczema, dry skin, irritation, or just from shaving, that wart virus can spread to the neighboring skin. So the key for preventing that is not to shave over a wart, and to keep the skin around the wart moisturized and hydrated to prevent little micro cracks that allow that wart virus to get in. Um, and I said, speaking of salicylic acid, because salicylic acid can actually help treat wart. It's what is in wart treatments, albeit in a very high concentration intended for like warts on the bottom of the feet. Uh, but salicylic acid facial products can be used to help hasten the clearance of that little wart virus. Um, so yeah, a lot of people get flat warts, men especially like in the beard area, they get flat warts there. And you can also get them on the neck, related to shaving the neck especially. But uh, for women shaving their legs, that's another prime location where you can get a ton of little flat warts that you just keep re-inoculating into the neighboring skin, that wart virus. And it takes some time for them to clear up and go away. But salicylic acid, it can help help them go away faster, albeit this is such a low percentage, it's probably not going to do too much, but uh, incorporating sal acid, you know, may be worthwhile, whether it be a leave-on product, um, or we're talking about the face. For the feet, for sure. I have a video, I, was, I do not like this. Is it a, is it a pop-on, a screw-on, what, what kind of, this packaging, yeah, it does not, <laughs> there we go. Uh, I have a video as a side note on how to get rid of a wart. Check that out if you're dealing with warts. They're pretty common and uh, they are a nuisance and they bother people. They can be painful, especially on the bottoms of the feet. Don't walk around barefoot. That's, that's one way to get them, um, especially like around pools. You know, pools are, are a site for getting them, swimming pools, because people get little tiny little micro tears <laughs> Um, from like walking around the pool surface near the pool, you can introduce that wart virus. Plus, the moisture is just kind of more hospitable for the virus particles getting on in. And I wanted to update y'all on the detox shampoo that I got in my FabFitFun box from Away. 
it smells nice, but it is just not at the level of Nizerol shampoo. I've really been loving the Nizerol shampoo. Nizerol, it's been getting my hair clean, leaving it really like nice and manageable and shiny. This just kind of, I don't know, it doesn't, it almost feels like I have residue on my hair after I use this. And I'm able to rinse it out in total, so I don't know what's going on. It just hasn't worked out for me. You know, shampoo, it's one of those very hair type specific outcomes, individual specific outcomes. So what ends up working for me, you know, it may not work for somebody else's hair type for sure, but I am just not, I have just not been happy with that. I will use it up. It's not, it's not bad. I can, I can use it. I can hack it. And I, like I said, I like the scent, but it's not something I would buy myself. So I wanted to update you guys on that. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you all enjoyed it and you're having a great weekend. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.